Nice to see you. I guess I've been seeing a lot of you uh, I've been sneaking around on, when I'm behind my square, riding my rollers, joining in with your 30-30. Don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm feeling, feeling good from doing the, the daily thing. So um, hopefully we're all feeling like we have very proficient circles happening now. So the daily draw today is uh, precision hydration. That's happening all week. And uh, those guys do an amazing job with um, educating about uh, personal sodium needs. It's quite interesting. And um, you may think you know how much sodium you need in your uh, drinks, in your hydration. But um, actually getting it analyzed is, is quite helpful. Some very small, very fit riders are way at the high end of the uh, uh, sodium loss scale. So might be a clue with cramping, things like that. Um, you can check them out online, Precision Hydration, and uh, we can put you in contact with them if you need as well. Okay, we are doing some strength intervals today. Um, we're starting, they're shortish, shortish climbs, and uh, we're gonna be starting 60 cadence, building up to 70 and 80. So right now, easy pedaling. I know a lot of you have probably been on your bikes a few minutes. Let's bring it up to our 60% if you're not already there. Six out of 10, that's an endurance, endurance uh, number, okay? It's where we're a group ride, riding along, we can feel some resistance behind our legs, starting to get into a rhythm. And I want that at a preferred cadence, somewhere 90-ish, okay? Anywhere 85, 100, in that range, but that's a big range. So 90-ish, just so we have a nice combination of turnover and just a bit of gear, okay? So we're just gonna hang out here for another 30 seconds while everybody gets their adjustments done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the cadence. Bye-bye, is we're gonna drop the cadence a couple of times, <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna increase the gear so that we feel the same effort level at the lower cadences. So from that 90-ish, I'm at 95 right now, 90-ish, let's drop it down to 80, all right? Leg speed. Someone once asked me how they change their leg speed. <laughs> Slow your legs down. Okay, 80 RPM, bring it down, and then adjust your gear. If you're on a smart trainer that's adjusting the watts each time you change the cadence, then you're all good. For those of us on bikes that are acting more like bikes, as you drop your cadence, your effort watts comes down, so I want you to bring in a bit more gear, okay? So let's just hunker down here, 80 cadence, best part of a minute still, and as we tend, as we drop our cadence, increase our gear, have a tendency to rock and roll some of us, let's try and focus on being nice and engaged in the center, <clears throat> legs smoothly, Tracing around that circle, bigger muscles coming in every time we bring up the gear a little bit, a little bit more force. Your wattage, your power is created by a combination of force and velocity. So that is force is the gear, velocity is the turnover. So when you change one or the other, you're engaging more Change the gear, more gear, more force, less velocity, <clears throat> so more strength required, right? Okay, we're gonna drop the cadence again. I want you to bring it down to 70 RPM. So slow the leg speed down, wattage effort, scrubs off a little bit. Bring the gear up, so you're back at that 60% number. Now you can really feel your muscles, your big muscles engaging a little bit more. Quads 
on the downstroke, <clears throat> glutes, quads, calves, on the upstroke, shins, hamstrings, you feel them more and more in the bigger gears, and hip flexors. Let the ankles move a little bit, get some nice turnover, hold on to this gear. Now at 70 cadence, I'm going to get you to bring the wattage up a little bit, or let's say you're holding the same cadence, you're going to bring the gear up a little bit. So increase the gear a little bit for me, so you feel closer to your 70%. In five seconds, three, two, one, up, up, more gear, same cadence, bigger force. Awesome. Settle into it. More push behind the pedals. Think about it. downward stroke, pulling through on the bottom, up and around the back. Feel those hamstrings. Awesome job, guys. Hold on for another 30 seconds. Another 30 seconds. Then I'm going to have you do another little gear increase. If you're changing wattage, let's think about 20 watts as an increase. Bringing it up, click it up a gear. You have to work a little bit by feel on your bike. In three, two, not changing the cadence. Bring it up. Good, nice and strong. All the way around that circle, relax the shoulders. Don't start falling over the bike. Keep yourself engaged. Eyes up. 45 seconds like this. Push, push. In these lower cadences, with the big gear, you can really feel the strength muscles recruited. This is one of the many things we work on to improve our riding, ability to push a little harder gear. You've done a lot of leg speed. Yesterday, you did a little bit of this in your drills. Last five seconds. Three, two, and let it go. Easy, easy, preferred cadence. Back the gear off. Okay. Getting right into three times five minutes. You're going to ride two minutes, 80%. You're gonna ride one minute, backing it off, 50%. That's your recovery, active recovery. And then two minutes, finishing off the same. The three efforts are changing cadence. The first one is at that 60 RPM. Second one at 70, third one at 80. Have a drink of water, find your 60 cadence right now. We're going in 15 seconds. 60 cadence. Start bringing some gear in. This is an easy one if you're counting pedal strokes. One pedal stroke every second. Last bit of gear. In two, one, come on. This is using some of what you did in the skills yesterday. Thinking about that big, strong circle. Eight out of 10 feeling. 80% number if you know what your numbers are and you have them on your bike. This is more, more than your functional threshold. Really good opportunity to feel all the way around the pedal stroke. Nice and strong. Bring those shoulders down. Give yourself a little, give yourself a little shake through the elbows, soft elbows, light hands. Tap your fingers. It'll help you remind, help to remind you not to death grip the handlebars. One more minute like this. Push, push. Lower cadence. Even though you're putting out a lot of force, 
to be at your 80%. It's working a different system, a lot of strength, not so much cardiovascular engagement. Okay, good job. Just over 30 seconds before you get that break in the middle. Come on, let your feet move all the way around. Pull through on the bottom of the circle. Awesome job, guys. Come on, 20 seconds to go. We're going to ride right into that break. Right into that break. Come on. Breathe. Bring the shoulders down. Big force. Pay attention to what this force feels like at this cadence and this gear. Two, one. Back the gear off. This is a short little break, like we're, like we're in a little false flat in the middle of the five minute hill. Bring it right up, move the blood around. You've got some gear off and you're riding 90 to 100 cadence just to get that nice flushing happening. Okay? I'm riding right about 98, 99 RPM. 30 seconds, okay? <clears throat> recover, recover. Give you lots of time to bring this down again. 15 seconds. <clears throat> and dropping it to 60 cadence again. Six zero. Drop the cadence first. Getting ready to go into the second phase of this hill. Two, one. Back to that 80%. Bring it up on your computer if you're doing it that way. Using your gears. If that's your vehicle. And here we go, come on. Big slow push all the way around. Let the ankles move. Think about that force against the pedals. Once you're there, just stick to that feeling. <clears throat> no more, no less. You'll hold the same power. Come on, guys. Come on, Kate. A little bit tired. If you've already done some work. Really good, everyone. Come on. Coming up to our last minute of this five. Push, push. Building strength. Building the ability to push one gear harder. Sometimes when you need to. <clears throat> we talked about riding off-road this morning. And of course, lots of you riding gravel bikes now or hoping to, and you'll really find sometimes the terrain just dictates that you have to stick with the gear. Good to be able to know you can push it around. Just over 30 seconds, guys, come on. Ankles move. Feel that pressure through the balls of your feet. <clears throat> Next one's gonna feel different. Awesome job, come on, eyes up. Look where you wanna go. Just over 15 seconds. Push, push, push. All the way through. Last 10. We're gonna get a two minute break after this. Keep it going, come on. In three, two, one, and back the gear off. Try and get to a recovery cadence as quickly as you can. Good job. Let's just go easy in this first bit. Don't underestimate the value of plugging that easy in, getting yourself back. And you'll learn to find cadences little higher cadences they are going to help you with that flushing, moving the blood around. <clears throat> Good job. So one of the things talked about yesterday in your drills is the value of doing some of this lower cadence work and particularly if you're doing any work in the gym, you're now transferring <clears throat> Transferring that work to pedaling circles. <clears throat> we work on cadence in isolation, high cadence, 
can't just get a higher cadence at a higher gear, harder gear. You need to develop the neuromuscular system, the training, be able to turn the pedals around, <clears throat> and then add gear, work on strength, put them together, move it along the scale, way more ability, bigger range. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so we're still at this flushing cadence, but we're bringing it down for the second one. This one is at 70 RPM. 10 RPM is a significant difference. 15 seconds. Have a little drink of water. Bring the cadence down, seven zero, and start bringing the gear up. 80% over your hour power. Two, one, come on guys, get after it. Breaking this up in the middle. Focus on the first part. Focus on doing it well. Let the ankles move. Pulling through on the bottom of the foot. Really good, nice and strong. You're centered on the bike. Feel a little different recruitment. <clears throat> now you're using more momentum to generate the same power. Getting good at applying different amounts of force, different amounts of momentum to get to the same place, your same outputs. Learning that. You're almost at a minute. First part of the hill. You're looking forward to that little break, that falls flat in the middle, and you're gonna learn to use as much of those seconds as you can. Awesome job, guys, come on. It's a pretty big output. Very hard to talk, <clears throat> but easier to talk at the lower cadences, you'll notice. Different feeling. Coming up to 30 seconds to go. Come on guys, knees straight. Maintain that force. <clears throat> this medium range, lower cadence, than mostly you use on your road bike. Really, really important in off-road. We use it a lot. Maintain traction on loose surfaces. Even riding through a park on your road bike, you'll notice that. Okay, just over five seconds. We're gonna roll right into that false flat in three, two, one. Get some watts off, get the cadence up, get the gear down. That's the kind of bike you're on. Recover, recover. Good job, guys, as quickly as you can. Your body learns. You're giving it 10 seconds recovery. You're giving it 30 seconds. You're giving more. You'll be surprised how it can learn to recover in what you're giving it. Partly mental. Good job, 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds. <clears throat> Other part of the hill. We're gonna go back down to 70 cadence. Enjoy this last little bit. Legs flushing. Drop it down to 70 cadence again. Bring it down. Bring the gear back in, five seconds, and this is a top two minutes. Three, two, one. Come on. Nice and strong now. Nice and strong. Finish off this upper two minutes of the hill. Focusing ahead, little bite-sized pieces. 30 seconds at a time. Come on guys, 90 seconds to go. Downward stroke, pulling through on the bottom, up and around, come on. Awesome job. You've got less than 90 seconds now. Just hold that pressure, keep it going. No need to build, you're there. Just trying to hold it. Think of maybe a hill somewhere, 6%, 7% in a decently big gear now. Could be a little steeper than that. Come on, 
into your last minute to the top. Push, push, push. All the way. Don't drop the momentum. Fight to hold it. Fight to hold that last 30 seconds. Really good, come on guys. Let's keep it going. All the way across the finish line, the crest of this five minutes. Come on, you got it. All the way. Last 15, coming up now. Come on, drive it right into the recovery. Push, push. Get this gear around in three, two, one. Back the gear off. Unload some watts if you're doing it. Get to a cadence that's moving the blood around. Two minutes. Really good. Do a little check. A little check in with yourself. Can you push up the leg speed a little bit more to generate the same power? This hill is giving you a break or you're going downhill, ready to go up it again. Turn your legs around. If you're doing hill repeats or a rolling course, be amazed the value of keeping the legs turning, not letting the blood pool. <clears throat> Less than a minute, guys. Last one. Nice, crisp climbing cadence. <clears throat> Easy to remember. 80 RPM, 80% effort. Getting towards the end of that downhill. <clears throat> We're gonna roll into a flat. We're gonna start regrouping. If you haven't had a drink, take a quick sip. Always makes you feel better before a push. Even if it's just mental. Gonna get you on that precision hydration as well. Taking care of your sodium loss. Some of us have a lot saying us. <laughs> okay, 80 cadence, last third hill. Bring that effort up. 80% watts of your MAP over your hour power. Come on, we're into it now. Bottom of the five minutes. Awesome job, guys. I'll give you the little cues. This is a crisp pie and cadence. 80% is higher than you could climb an hour long climb around here, like a Seymour. But you might build throughout that climb, get to where you can keep loading a bit more on. Overall result comes up. Good, just lock it in right here. Lock it in right here. 20 pedal strokes every 15 seconds. Any of you counting? Almost at a minute. This is our bottom step of the hill. Try to stay engaged. A little bit of self-talk. Did you shy off the gear a little bit? Let's make sure it's on there. Make sure that's a number in front of you or the feeling is challenging. Coming up to 90 seconds. Come on guys, just look at the road or the trail ahead of you. Don't hang your head. Nice and positive, keep it all up, open. Especially climbing. Start to hang over your bike. That's the body English. Makes you fall apart. Hey, you're rolling into this false flat now. In five, three, two, one. Get a gear off, get some watts off. If you're controlling it, high cadence, 
as high as you can feel efficient. Less than 60 seconds. And recover, recover. Really good, guys. Come on, keep it going. Quick feet. Feel it coming down already. Same trick, little drink. This is your top piece. Coming up to the top. 20 seconds. You know how long it takes you to drop your cadence. We're rolling into the bottom of this last step. 80 cadence. Bring it down right now. Gear up. Let's make this one at least 80%. Push a little harder if you like. Two minutes from now. Come on, everybody. Push, push, push. Connect with that pedal. Feel the force. Come on, guys, drive it. You're in charge here. Leading your little group. You were just following your posse up till now. Uh, you're pouring it on a little bit. Really good, everyone, come on. When we see that last minute, I want everyone to engage. Last a little bit, as much as you have. When you can see the top, it's in sight. Keep looking 100 meters ahead of the bike, though. That isn't quite the top yet. Here, one minute to go. 80 cadence, come on. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. Hamstrings are driving. Strong feet. Own the bike, guys, come on. Almost 30 seconds to go. Right over the top this time. Into a downhill. And we're done. These three hills. Come on, guys. Own it. Last 30 seconds. Push, push, push. All the way. Take it home. So imagine this is for a jersey. Come on. Last 10. All the way. Push, 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 push. Five. Three. Two. One. Downhill. We're over the crest. Using leg speed. Turn it over. Come on. Do not stop paddling right away. I want you to keep helping the bike. You're not wanting to lose momentum. Sometimes we stop pedaling on a downhill thinking, oh, bike's just rolling. Reality is losing just a little bit of real estate that you could be gaining just by turning the pedals over or maintaining. You earned it, okay? Nice high leg speed. You're pushing that blood around, getting rid of the lactate, gonna feel better for tomorrow. Back for 30 minutes again. And just practice right now. Deep breath, cut it out. Shoulders down, elbows, nice light hands, rolling through the finish line here. Good job, everybody. Stay right on it. Stay right on it. Last little 30 seconds here. Awesome job. It's just, uh, I've said this lots of times, but even though 30 minutes, 40 minutes, if you're on the bike a little longer, might seem so minimal, this consistency is doing so much for you versus that one weekend ride <laughs> where you end up on the couch all afternoon because you put too much into it. Okay, guys, that's it. We're just gonna roll it out now. 
Let's let all the gear come off. You've done your 30 minutes. That was a really great set of three hills. Thanks, everyone. If you uh, want to chat, you can unmute. But that's a wrap for this one.